It has been called the most painful disease you've never heard of. Children with it suffer every waking moment with itching sore skin that rips off their body at the slightest touch. Tonight, Ursula Perry introduces us to perhaps the strongest little boy you've ever met, who one day may live pain-free thanks to research underway right here in San Antonio. William has never known a day without pain. He's one of the butterfly children. As portrayed in this documentary, their skin is fragile as a butterfly's wing. William's got the worst form. At first we thought that maybe his hand had just been scraped during the birth, but then we noticed his feet, that they were, the toes were uneven due to the blistering. Her doctor then said the words that would rule their lives thereafter. So she said epidermolysis bullosa. EB for short. It's a genetic disease and a death sentence. Most of these children only know pain. Much like a burn victim, they are wrapped in dressings which must be excruciatingly removed every two days or so. Even just an exam by a San Antonio dermatologist requires a strength and a will few of us have. His doctor, however, is in phase three of a special drug trial for a lotion called Zerblissa. We're able to get chronic wounds to heal up uh, very quickly, and we're able to reduce the itching. This is a lifelong condition, and it can be fatal, and that's why investigational drugs like this lotion are being pushed through by the FDA. This may be the only thing to ever provide comfort to these children. So until then, comfort comes from this mom's loving touch. And it's clear she's his biggest fan. He loves to paint. He loves art and music. And what else, honey? What do you like? Poetry. He likes, he likes, right? Not really. Not anymore? Not really poetry. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Interests have changed. <laughs> and that's another exceptional characteristic of this young man. Despite his inner pain, he can still make us smile. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News. Will's family moved to Spring Branch to be closer to the medical treatment he needs. They are anxiously awaiting FDA approval of a drug called Zorblissa and hopeful that it will help ease the pain.